Greetings from Minneapolis, Minnesota. This is Emmanuel Davis, a uh, flutist, usually a period flutist for the uh, Staunton Festival Orchestra and chamber music. I thought that today um, I would just walk you through some of the instruments that I use when we're playing um, different period uh, pieces and repertoire at the festival. That's one of the cool things about this festival is that we play um, on era-appropriate instruments. I have three flutes here in front of me that I use most regularly when down at Stanton. This flute, which I really love, is um, a copy of a flute that was made in Belgium in the late 1730s or 1740s. Uh, and the maker of this flute uh, was named Johann Hyacinth Rottenberg, and that was the original maker. And all of these flutes are actually made, I think it's really nice to know, by a man named Rudolf Toots um, in Innsbruck, Austria. And so this flute is made out of boxwood, and these white parts are today are plastic, but originally they would have been ivory. Um, and what's great about Baroque flutes is um, the sound color of them and how they have a different quality in different keys and all of the different affects of Baroque music that you can bring out using these instruments. And I think the flute has a very sweet and round and sort of dark tone quality. What's interesting about this is if I were to play a chromatic scale for you, you would hear all of the different tone qualities for each and every note. So I can play a D quite loudly, but um, a chromatic note like a B flat or a G sharp is quite soft. Every note needs a different uh, air, different speed, different position. One of my favorite solos that um, I got to play down in Stanton was the Domini Deus from the B minor mass which we did a few years ago because it's so brilliant and wonderfully written for the flute in the great key of G major it just sounds really beautiful and it really sings Fifth Brandenburg, which I had a great time playing a few years ago, that's in the key of D, and that has a brilliant last movement, but all of the movements are really wonderful for the flute. This flute I have, which comes a little bit later, from about the 1790s, um, was made by a flutist, flute maker, uh, August Grenzer, who was a well-known flute maker in Dresden. And this flute, first off, is similar to the Baroque flute, but it has a slightly higher pitch and slightly more brilliant tone quality. Last summer we had a great time playing the early Haydn symphonies of morning, noon, and night, which have great flute parts. show you they started to add these keys to make them sound more equal so for example um, on a baroque flute and you can finger this flute either with baroque fingerings or the, with the keys if you had something with a G sharp which would be a normally a very veiled note here's a G sharp that sounds very quiet but now with the new key All of 
the chromatic notes are much more powerful and more equal with the main good notes. And this is the kind of flute that you would use pretty much if you're playing your Beethoven symphonies or uh, Schubert symphonies. So that's a kind of a tour of the late uh, Baroque and early 19th century flutes, the, all the different ones that we play at the Stanton Festival every year. So I'm hoping to be back next summer. Uh, I believe we're going to be playing Beethoven Fifth Symphony, which I'm very excited about. And um, I hope that all of you are healthy and well and uh, have a great summer and enjoy the videos that are down below.